the sun, uh, a 1.4 million kilometer wide ball of plasma, burning at over 15 million degrees in its core. Now imagine another sun, same mass, same size, but instead of fire, it's made entirely of water, an ocean star. What happens if it collides with our sun? Would it douse the flames, cool the inferno? Or would it ignite something even worse? Let's collide two cosmic titans and find out. Before we smash these stars together, let's talk about the water sun. It's not made of hydrogen plasma like our sun, but of supercritical water, trillions of tons of it. So much water, in fact, that its mass matches our sun exactly. But there's a catch. A water star this massive wouldn't just be a giant sphere of ocean sloshing through space. Its core would be under such intense gravity that the water would behave weirdly. At the center, water becomes compressed into exotic matter, ultra dense, hot and unstable. It might not glow like a star, but it, it would boil with gravitational fury. Now let's set the scene. Two stars, equal in mass, one burning with nuclear fusion, the other a cold blue juggernaut of oceans. As they drift closer, they begin to tug on each other with gravity. The water sun begins to stretch. Tides rise hundreds of kilometers high. The sun, it flares. Coronal mass ejections burst outward. The system is destabilizing. And then, contact. The outer layers of the water sun touch the corona of our sun. What happens? Not a gentle fizz, not a quiet splash. It's chaos. The outer water instantly flashes into plasma. That's over 1046 joules of water energy being dumped into a raging nuclear furnace. A literal wall of steam forms expanding faster than sound. You'd expect the sun to be extinguished, is he? But instead, the opposite happens. All that hydrogen in the water, it fuels the sun. More fusion, more energy, more explosions. The sun doesn't die. It starts to cook harder. The cores finally collide. One made of fusing hydrogen, the other uh, super dense hyperwater compressed to near nuclear density, temperatures skyrocket, fusion goes into overdrive. It, it's no longer just hydrogen burning away, it, it's, it's everything burning. New elements are forged in seconds, iron, nickel, even heavier atoms. It, it's like triggering a mini supernova from the inside. Shock waves blast through the combined star, the magnetic field fractures, the photosphere, the visible layer of the sun erupts outward. So. Is the sun destroyed? Not exactly. It survives, but not as we know it. The result of the collision is a new object. A blue giant star, hotter, larger, and way more violent. The extra hydrogen from the water acts like rocket fuel. The sun's core burns faster, shortening its life from billions of years to just a few million. Solar winds intensify, radiation soars, planets key, including Earth's, uh, get cooked. We're no longer in the habitable zone. We're inside a blast furnace. First, the oceans boil, then the atmosphere evaporates. Surface rocks melt, satellites fry. Earth becomes a dead, glowing ember in space. If humanity had any warning, we might have built arcs, underground bunkers, or space habitats. But this change is too fast. The collision would send gravitational waves rippling through space, a signal of cosmic death, detectable light years away. And just like that, life on Earth is over. In the end, water couldn't put out the sun. It fed it because the sun doesn't burn like fire. It fuses atoms and hydrogen. Uh, the main ingredient in water is its favorite fuel. So throwing an ocean at the sun, that's like throwing gasoline on a bonfire. The result is not peace. It's cataclysm. A water sun sounds impossible. But what other strange stars might exist out there? Could there be stars made of iron? or ones that pulse like hearts. What cosmic collision should we explore next? Let us know in the comments. And if your mind's been blown, give that like button a gravitational pull and subscribe for more wild what if so. Because in space, even water can burn. Until next time, I stay curious, stay cosmic.